Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of Boise, Idaho, and we're still working on the Toyota 4Runner here, and I've got yet another issue. As you can see, I've got all the main timing components removed, and I'm now working on the secondary timing chain and tensioners. Now, normally, factory procedure would have you remove your gears here and here, your intake and exhaust gears, pull those off, and obviously you get your chain and your tensioner off. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. I've tried to use the air gun and get these off and that doesn't work and I've also tried using my big long breaker bar in order to get these off. And the problem is, is I cannot lock down these camshafts hard enough so that way I can get the force that I need to get on here to get these off. And that's just been the story of this car. And it's just been one nightmare after another. So here's the deal. I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm not going to try to come up with a way to lock these camshafts down. So that way I can get the force that I need to get these off. One of the reasons why I don't really want to force any of this stuff off is because right now the pistons are where they need to be and the valves are where they need to be. And if I accidentally roll this over with the pistons being up, there's a chance that I could be the one that's gonna end up damaging a valve or bending something or making an indention in the top of the pistons. And I don't wanna mess with that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have new gears that I do wanna change out. So I do wanna get this off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the camshaft as a whole while I'm in there, clean everything up, make it worth my while and then put these camshafts on the bench where I can get them in a vise where they won't get damaged and go ahead and get them apart and all that other good stuff. So I figured it's a good time to learn how to remove the camshafts out of a Toyota 4.0 liter engine. There is a bolt sequence for removal and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna look at that. Now I've got my bolt sequence set up. I've got passenger side, and driver side of the engine. This is the passenger side, as you can see here. And we've got that matching and it's set up on that side. So we wanna follow the proper bolt sequence. And as you can see, we're gonna start at the, at, at the rear of the engine here, rear of the camshaft. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna skip this, this cap five six then come back here seven eight and we'll remove and and lift those cam caps out we will keep them in order and place them back down here and then we'll do the same on this side we'll go one two three four or actually one two three four five six and then seven eight and then remove all of that so i'm going to get set up and ready to do that we're going to need 12 millimeter sockets and 10 millimeter sockets All right, so here we go. Hopefully I got some good lighting set up for you guys. So we're going to start back here at the back. I'm going to go one, two. Then we're going to go three, four. Then we're going to go here, five, six, and then seven and eight. And the reason why you want to do it like this is because you've got these valves and springs and everything pressing up on your camshaft. And if you don't do it accordingly, you can warp and really mess up your camshaft. So here we go. I also don't completely take them out. I loosen them one at a time. Just loosen them up a little bit. Here and there. This engine is happy where it's at. There we go. All right. Okay. And then last but not least. Seven, eight. Okay. So again, one, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight. Now that I've got these loose, and as you can see, I could pretty much just do it by hand. Now I'm going to take them off. I'm going to keep them in the order and direction that they go. I'm going to place them on my worksheet over here. I'm going to take them off in the order. Again, keep them in the order and direction, place them on my worksheet. You absolutely do not want to lose that order and direction. Now we're going to do the same thing over here, except for it's going to be from the inside out, inside out. So we're going to go. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Actually, I wonder if we can just do this by hand. Got a little resistance there, no big deal. Also, if you hear a little creaking and noises or anything like that while you're doing this, don't be too alarmed.
And it looks like we're just about ready to lift our camshafts out. And again, you're going to take them out in order, sequence and direction. And place them where they go on my worksheet. should be able to lift my camshafts out and actually this looks like here it may just be easier to go ahead and get rid of that tensioner come on yeah, I think it'd be easier to just go ahead and get that tensioner out of the way also. Huh. Let's see what we can do about that. There we go. I got a nice little kink in my back now from all this bending over. And here we go. Now we just lift our camshafts out. I'm going to go set them on the workbench. And there you go, folks. That is how you remove the camshafts out of a Toyota 4.0. I'm gonna go ahead and get in here and now that I've got it all opened up and clean all that up, and now that this will allow me to work on replacing this gear. Now I can go ahead and get this off of there and uh, get that set up accordingly because that's what I want to replace is this gear right here so now I can just hold this in place and do whatever I need to to get that bolt off of there without worries of damaging anything internally and as of right now since all the camshafts are removed uh, I guarantee you that every single valve is currently closed so we're not concerned about piston and valve clearance or anything like that Alrighty folks, well there you go. Just thought that'd be a cool little little experience there for you. Uh, don't forget that if you got a couple bucks, stop by and check out picking up a t-shirt or something like that. Shoot me some ideas for merchandise. This, I'm pretty new to this whole merchandise thing, so uh, you know I'm learning and all that other stuff. So like, I don't know, smartphone covers and stuff like that. Maybe we'll see what the future holds. Most importantly, thanks for watching my channel, thanks for watching my videos, and thanks for supporting me. If you guys have any questions or need help, shoot them to me in the comments. Let's trade emails and then go from there. This is Matthew, your fam your friendly neighborhood technician. Blah. <laughs> this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off, guys.